previously on Left Behind. Steel, where are you going? I would like order in here, please. And you're upset, but you have no Shut up! I would be careful. I swear you can't shut up. Ray, don't do it, man. I'll explain this away. You'll say it was a natural disaster. You'll use it for your own good. But I want to be the first to tell you, Carpathia, you have just seen the wrath of the Lamb. Based on Soul Harvest, the fourth book in the best-selling series, Tendale House Publishers proudly presents Episode 37 of the dramatic audio edition of Left Behind. Wait, wait, how is this? These units act like walkie-talkies when they're close. <laughs> Ray, sorry we had to bust out of there and couldn't help you search for your wife. Aftershocks, you know. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, Mac, I'm fine. Oh, great. The potentate would like to speak to you, but before he does... Look, you I... tell him I have no interest in talking before to him. Before he does, I wanted to remind you about our meeting tonight. Uh, we are still on, correct? What are you talking about? All right, great. Uh, I'll see you tonight, and uh, stand by Look, for fine, the... Mac. I understand you want to talk to me later, but don't put Carpathia on right. Swear up. Tape, please, Captain. Captain Steele. <laughs> I'm here. Though we both know how I could respond to your egregious disrespect and insubordination, I choose to forgive you. Oh, no, I can tell you are at a loss as to how to express your gratitude. Now listen to me. I have a safe place and provisions where my international ambassadors and staff will join me. You and I both know we need each other, so I suggest you that we... You don't need me, and I don't need your forgiveness. Now, you've got a pilot right next to you. I suggest you think about promoting him. Captain Steele, we are returning to pick you up. Be ready when we land. Look, I am almost at the airport now, and I am not going anywhere else. I admire your irrational belief that you can find your wife, but we both know that it's not going to happen. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere until I find my wife. Should you survive your foray, the shelter is three and a half clicks northeast of the original headquarters. You will need the following password, Operation Wrath. What? You heard me, Captain Steele. Huh. <laughs> he knew. He knew the earthquake was coming. Doc! 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 Doc!
you down there? Doc! Doc! I am here, Doc! Uh, no. oh. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, Doc, I can hear you. I can hear you. You all right? I am all right, but oh. I am trapped. The oh. door will not open. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. You don't want to see what's going on up here anyway. Oh, whole house is everything. Swallow it into the ground. Oh, thank God you're all right, Doc. Oh, she, oh, she's... Oh, Doc, she's she's gone. I I found her under her car. Oh, I am sorry. Uh, Was it the great earthquake? Uh, it had to be. Do you think you can get to me? Uh, oh, I'll get to you. Uh, I need you to help me look for Chloe, no, okay? No, 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 you're right, of course, of course, you're right. You what? must look for your wife. Uh, I am okay for now, Buck. You go. Uh, I will wait for you. Okay, okay. All right, Doc. Doc, I'll be back for you as soon as I can, okay? Excuse me, English? Let's find water. Need water. Are, are you all right? Uh, sir, you're bleeding. Come come here, let me help you. You can't help me. Leave me alone. Well, at least let me try. Leave me alone. Sir, there's nothing in that direction but the tigress. Let me help you. Uh, McCallum here. Yeah, Mac, there's a, there's a guy here with a chunk of fuselage sticking out his back. I don't know how he's still alive, but can you swing back and give me a hand? I can't make that call, Cap. Then let me talk to Carpathia. All right. Uh, listen, we're still set for that meeting tonight, right? Yeah, Mac, I don't know what you want, but I get the point, all right? Now let me talk to him. Hang on. I assume you've changed your mind, Captain Steele. No, I haven't. I need Mac for a transport. There's a man out here who's going to die of exposure if we don't do something. I was under the impression you were looking for your wife. Look, this guy is going to walk into the river and Millions he's going to... are dead and dying. You cannot save them all, Captain. So you're just going to let him die? But this is suddenly my problem? If you think you can save him, but be my guest. I do not mean to be cold, but I have the whole world on my mind just now. Sir, wait! Let me help you. He says... Leave... Me... <sighs> Sir, where, where are you going? Officer McCollum, you have accurately represented your competence with a map, is that correct? A absolutely, sir. I've double-checked the coordinates with the GPS. That's where the entrance should be. Uh, sir, it would take us a week to dig all that sand and rock to There break. is a smaller entrance on this side. Try here. Here? Yes. Uh -huh. Well, there's a... There's a d well, you're right. As I told you. Come. So the provisions go in the executive cabinet room. Now go ahead and take it. Potentate. Potentate Carpathia! Potentate, we're so glad you're safe. We prepared the shelter to your specifications, sir. Very good. Walk with me to the command center. Uh, I want an update on our communication capabilities and all personnel, particularly from headquarters. Sir. What is it? There were no survivors. We didn't even know if you had made it safely. It's really a miracle you're alive. What about Leon? Where is Leonardo Fortunato? Mr. Fortunato was in the building as well, sir. He is dead. We will see about that. I will be back shortly. Can I take you somewhere, sir? No. I will go alone. Hey, buddy, you all right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. That your rover? Why? We need it. I've got people I'm trying to dig out. I need it. Don't try any of these houses. They're not stable. We've been told to shoot looters. <laughs> looters? 
You guys are the only healthy people I've seen. Besides, what's to loot? Everything's smashed to bits. Just doing what we're told. Sorry, man. I gotta go in. I gotta find out if my wife's still alive. Trust me, pal. You're not gonna find survivors on this street. Stay out. I'm sorry. Only authorized personnel are... Put in Carpathia, sir. I'm sorry. Can I help you? I am told the body of Leon Fortunato was discovered over here. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Excavation team is making its way here as fast as it can, but... You I... asked how you may help. You may help by leaving this area at once. But, sir, my command... Leave. Now. Yes, sir. Leonardo Fortunato. You have served me well, and you will continue to serve and give testimony to the power of Nikolai Carpathia. Leonardo Fortunato, you have served me well, and you will continue to serve me. Leonardo Fortunato, you will sleep no longer. You will. Leonardo! Terminals that way. Hmm. You can see what's left of the runway. What happened to you? Trying to make a charter. Just got out of the terminal when it hit. Nice. Come here. On the other side of the mound, you can see it. <coughs> what happened to that 747? It was in line with a DC-10 over there. Quake slammed them together. Uh, looks like they were both full. So many bodies. <coughs> where's, <coughs> where's the smoke coming from? There's a plane over there. Fell into a huge crater and burst into flames. Did you see if it was a pancon? Yeah, me. Burn up pretty well, bad. Well, how big a plane was it? The size of that 47 over there? Oh, no. Nah, much smaller. Turboprop, I think. Oh. See that? That was the terminal. I'm glad I wasn't in there when it hit. <laughs> Completely flat. Uh, listen, I'm looking for a pancon flight. It, it would have landed south to north on the big runway. Maybe it's still in the air. Buried in the sand. You're not thinking you can find somebody in that. Look, if, if they were on the ground, they could have been on one of the taxiways. <sighs> Looks like we got about an hour's worth of daylight left. And it might be the one. It's definitely a 747. Who are you looking for? My wife. Don't look good. At least somebody had the presence of mind to get the doors open and deploy that evacuation chute. That thing's going down in the sand. No! British Airways, this isn't Amanda's plane. You got a crew member on the wing there. Hey, you okay? Can you help us? Hey, look, stay where you are. We'll try to get you out. Uh, are we on fire? No. It's very unstable down here. Should, should I move everyone to the back so we don't go nose down? You won't go nose down. Your wings are stuck. Get everybody toward the middle and see if you can exit onto the wings. Uh, are you sure? It's the best you've got since you can't wait for heavy equipment. These people want out of here now. Then get to it. An aftershock could drop the plane a lot farther in. Okay, Loretta. Let's see what this shit has in it. <coughs> Ah, uh, uh, okay. Uh, good. Show. Mm, axe. Looks like I'm in business. Okay. People have stayed alive for days in collapsed buildings, right, Buck? <laughs> God, if Chloe's in there, help me find her. But if this was her time, I pray it's already happened. Please don't let her suffer. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. Guess the roof is as good a place to start as any. 
Especially since it's so convenient. <clears throat> One more thing, God. <clears throat> Give me the strength. <clears throat> no matter what, I find <clears throat> in here. <clears throat> Looks like they're coming out onto the wings. Hey, good, good. Go to the end of the wing. Keep moving. We're almost out of daylight. I'm not sure that crater will take another aftershock. Think they can climb up that bank of sand? Well, they're gonna have to. Or we'll have to go down there. Oh, oh. Hey, hey, don't jump yet. Keep moving toward the wingtip. It's gonna break up. Oh, swollen under which side. Don't get under it! They're gonna die. Give me a hand. What are you doing? Put the fuse black holes together. We may be able to dig them out. Are you coming? Keep digging. Oh, I'm through. I got an air hole over here. Good, good. Please help us. We're going as fast as we can. We're from this side. That chopper for us? Huh? Maybe not. What time is it? Well, almost ten. Why? Might be my ride. Mac, is that you? Yeah, listen, Mac. We got a bit of a rescue thing going on here. I... I want to try and get these people out of here if we can. Yeah, I, I thought I saw a flat area on the uh, west side of the terminal. I'll meet you there. All right, I've got your hand. Let me pull you through. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Are you all right? Doc, can you hear me? Thank God you have returned. Oh, I was lying here next to the vent when I heard the rumble and something clattering its way towards well, me. Are you okay? I rolled out of the way just in time. There's a huge chunk of the foundation down here with me. Yeah, another aftershock. Forgive me, Cameron, but I have been brave long enough. Please, get me out. Okay. Okay, uh, hang on! There. Uh, Doc, uh, Doc, uh, try the door from your side. It will not open. Come on, push hard. Whoa. Oh. 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 Oh, it is so good to see right again. <coughs> and you too, my friend. Uh, good to see you too. Uh, oh, come on. Uh, let's get you up where you can breathe, huh? Here, come on, grab my hand. Here we go. Ready? Go. Push. There you go. There you go. Thank you, right. Cameron. Uh, and, and what about Chloe? Uh, well, no sign of her yet. I started working my way into Loretta's house, but it's just too much of a mess. I'm going to need your help, Doc. Let us go. We will work together. Uh, what of the others? A any word? Uh, could be days before communication opens to the Middle East. And Amanda should be with Rayford by now. One thing you can be sure of. If Rayford was near Nikolai, he is likely safe. The scriptures are clear that the Antichrist will not meet his demise until a little over a year from now. Yeah, well, <laughs> I wouldn't mind having a hand in that. God will take care of Nikolai. But it is not the due time. Repulsive as it must be for Captain Steele to be so close to such evil, at least he should be safe. Cap, you look awful. You okay? Ah, oh, rough day. Yeah, you can say that again. Working my way across the airport to find you? Fell in a huge crack in the asphalt. A dozen dead bodies in there. I landed on him. What a mess. So, what's on your mind, Mac? C-18, command over. Command, this is 1-8. What's your status, sir? Uh, we're working around the airport, uh, involved in a rescue here. Uh, gonna be another hour or two, over. Roger that. We'll inform the potentate. Over. Uh, roger, thanks. Lying to the potentate. This must be important. Ray, 
What the blazes is going on here? What is all this Wrath of the Lamb stuff? I'll tell you what I think, Mac. But first, what makes you think I'd know? Oh, come on, I can tell. I walk on eggshells around Carpathia, but you don't seem to be intimidated. I about lost my lunch when I saw that red moon, and you acted like you knew it would be there. A question for you. You knew why I went to Baghdad Airport. Why didn't you ask me what I found? It was, uh... None of my business, Ray. Don't give me that. Unless Carpathia knows more than I do, he'd have asked about Hattie. Rayford, everybody knows. It wasn't likely either your wife or Hattie would have survived a crash at that airport. Mac, you saw for yourself. Hundreds of people climbed off that 47. Now, sure, nine out of ten people died in that place, but lots survived. Now, if you want answers from me, you'd better start giving some. All right, down there, in that clearing... Let me set it down and we'll, uh, we'll talk there. It's unbelievable, you know. I saw a lady with one arm and the other one sheared off. Obviously in shock. She cut her throat with a piece of broken glass. She just gave up. A tragedy. If I wasn't seeing it, Doc, I wouldn't believe it. There is no way to tell where the streets begin and the houses end. How did you find Loretta? Took a while. We're going to have to climb over the asphalt to get back there. I am ready. It makes it a little tougher to get there, but I figure the cover may work for us. How do you mean? Well, first time through here, a cop told me they were authorized to shoot looters. Ah, I see. And how could one tell a looter from a desperate husband with both carry an axe? Doc, I told you about Loretta. The aftershock disposed of her body. It is a shame. Yeah, but... Uh... I haven't told you about Donnie Moore. He's the guy who built our laptops. You have located him? Well, I found his body at the church. Right before the big aftershock hit, I saw a leg sticking up from under a section of the roof. Hmm. He was one of those quiet geniuses. He told me he went to the church for years. He ended up being embarrassed that he had this astronomical IQ but was spiritually blind. Scholastic aptitude is no guarantee of spiritual insight. <laughs> if it was, you, my friend, would be alone in this car. You're assuming I'd be in this car? Good point. I apologize, my friend. Well, that's old history now, I guess. Donnie's wife hardly ever came with him. They lost a baby in the rapture. His wife became a believer almost immediately after Donnie did. How sad to die this way. But now he is reunited with their child. What do you think I ought to do about the briefcase? I found it next to his body. Do about it? He had it with him constantly, kind of, kind of guarding it, you know? And I think he was plugged into some things he didn't talk about much. Just a gut feeling, really. Should I leave it alone? At a time like this, you must decide if there is something that might further the cause of Christ. Mm. If so, I believe the young man would want you to have access. Should you break into it and find only personal things, it would be only right to maintain his privacy. Uh, sounds good to me. Mm. Hmm. All right, well, here we go. What's left of the house is behind that asphalt. Yeah. You ready to go digging? As ready as one can be for a task like this. Oh, Doc. Doc, you okay? I am fine. But, Buck, where is Chloe's car? Her car? Uh, she always parked in front of the garage. I don't know. I... I guess it could have been tossed somewhere. Yes, but not so far away that we could not see it, don't you think? It could have been swallowed up. uh... We should look. If her car is here, we can assume she's here. And if we don't find her car... Cameron, we will not know unless we look. Left Behind, the dramatic audio series is based in part on the book Soul Harvest by Tim LaHaye and Jerry Jenkins and has been adapted for radio by Chris Fabry with music by Steve Wick, directed and produced by Todd Bustine. Left Behind, the dramatic audio series is a production of Gap Digital and Tyndale House Publishers. Thank you for listening.